Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This was on how to create custom watch list on eBay. That's right, another eBay how-to because I think you guys need to know everything you can about eBay. Now, if you have something that I'm not covering in some of my videos on eBay and you would like it to be covered, just tell me down below in the comments and I'll try to get to them, okay? Um, what we're going to do here, but before we get started, obviously, we need to have you guys hit the like button down below, the little thumbs up, and also hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new how-to videos, especially on the eBay ones right now that I'm I'm checking out. <laughs> so there you go. So first thing you want to do, like we always do, is we want to open up our eBay account. I'm going to go up to the top. I already have eBay open, and I'm in the wrong screen, so I'm going to go to the very front. So this is the screen you usually show up on. Now, if you're not signed in, go up to the left and hit sign in, which is right next to usually the down arrow, the daily deal. They'll say sign in. So make sure you click on that and then sign into your account. Once you're signed in, now we want to get to the watch list screen. Now, the way we do this, you can don't go here. <laughs> You'd think that'd be the first thing you click on. I don't go here. I go here and I go down to watch list on the menu. So at the top right, you're going to go on my eBay, hover your mouse. It should pop up with a the menu if you go down you want to click on the watch list which is the fourth one down so you can click on that once you click on that you're on the watch list now right now you're probably going well what do you do that's the watch list i already seen that well, no what you want to do is at the top where it says watch list and it's under activity if you ever want to know if you go under activity it's the watch list is on the side menu but once you're under here you click this little arrow and there you go this shows you other lists you have created now you might not you might not have one created yet, and that's the reason you're at watching this video. I created a couple because I was testing it, and that's what we're going to do here. We're going to show you how to create one. Now, wish list is fine, but usually it gets cluttered and you can't organize, and I hate that because I like to have things broken up. Like if I'm looking at NES games, I like to see it, or gamer gifts, like certain gifts. I break it up into categories, which is kind of nice because it keeps it organized. Obviously, I'm on eBay too much, but and we're not talking about that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new one. So what we're going to do is create new lists. So we're going to click that. And all it does is pops up and it says add a name to your list. So you're going to name your list. So we're just going to go, uh, what are we going to call it, guys? We're going to call it new list. Why not? Really generic. I can delete it later. New list. So we're going to hit create new list. And then what it does is it pops up. Now it's been created. Now it doesn't take you straight to that page. So new list created successfully. So cool. Now we're going to go back to the arrow, click it, and see new list. Now click on new list. And that's it. So nothing's in it right now because we haven't added anything to the list yet. Now if you wanted to delete the list like I'm going to later, you just go up to the top right and you click delete list. Very simple. But let's add something to our list. So we're going to go to the home page, which is just click on the eBay, and then it takes you to the home page. And I'm just going to pick something random. So we're just going to scroll down to some of the stuff I've already looked at. Like here, Clue, the Super NES game for Clue. And then we're going to go here, and then I like it. So we're in in the um, product we want to look at and we want to add to our list. To add for a list, don't mind the sounds behind me, um, add to the list is right here. So you can click this. Don't do that because it takes you, I think it puts it right on the watch list. If you click the arrow next to it, it will give you the lists that you've created. So the new list is now on here. So you can click on Add to New List. And now it's been added. Now we're going to go back to the the uh, the watch list section. So we're going to go back up here, watch list, and then we're going to go down here. And now it's right here. Now that we're back on the watch list, you're going to go up to the top again because they they automatically put you on the main watch list. Click the arrow again, and go down to your new list. And now your new Super Nintendo complete complete in box. CIB is complete in box. If anybody wanted to know, Clue the game is now on your new list you created. So that's how you add things to your new list and create it. But there's a tip I want to give you now is how to move things to another list. I think that's very important. So go back up here and go back to the watch list. So this is the main screen you were on. Now let's say you want to add something from other lists to a different list, kind of that way. So let's say I want to move heroes onto the for the NES to my new list. You, what you do is you check the box and hit add to list at the top. So the add to list will pop up at the top. So click on add. And now you can hit the down arrow. So your list, so this is where you select the list you want it to move to. 
you go away over here to the side, the right, and click the arrow. And now it shows all the lists you have created for your eBay account. This is a great way to organize yourself. Trust me, I'm, I'm really into organizing my my websites and anything I have on them. Just look at some of my other articles and videos, you'll, you'll notice. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to move this guy over to new list. And then once you do that, it's going to select the list and you're going to say add. Now, FYI, it does not delete it from the main list. You'd have to do that from here. So we could actually delete this one by clicking it and then hit delete at the top. So you check it and delete it. And then hang on. Now we're going to go to our new list again. Same way we did before. You go to the top, click the arrow next to watch list and go down to new list. And there they are. So it doesn't delete it. So you can delete it off another one. Until you hit delete, it will stay on all the lists. You can move it. And that's how you do it. So that's how easy it is to create a custom watch list on eBay. So go out there, make a custom watch list, and enjoy yourself. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.